Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will show you guys how to fix all these annoying problems you might encounter when using an SD to Vita. So right now, my PS Vita is kind of glitched up. I went to open an app and the whole system is just kind of crashing and I know it's the SD to Vita because something like this actually happened before and I managed to fix it. So I made it sort of go like this just so I could show you guys how to fix it for this video. So if you go to open up an app, and it crashes or just some weird stuff is happening, the chances are it's probably your SD Vita if you're using one. Luckily I have a backup of HN Core um, and Vita Shell installed on my memory card um, so if it fails I can always just launch up those apps. But what we guys want to do to fix the SD to Vita is just hold your PS Vita's power button. Just keep on holding it even if it comes up with this um, power off option just keep on holding it. And then eventually your console is just going to completely turn off. So it's going to restart for you as well. So just give it a few seconds to restart. And then you're going to enter into safe mode. So what we're looking for in safe mode is just the first option, which is restart this system. So just press X on that. And now your PS Vita is just going to restart. So now the PS Vita has restarted and it is usable again, so we can just go on to it. Now once your PS Vita restarts and it's just running off the normal memory card or off your internal storage, we actually want to power it off again, but power it off properly this time. So hold the power button, wait for the power off to come up, just tap power off, and just wait for your PS Vita just to shut down normally. Now we just want to take out our SD to Vita. Now I'm pretty sure my SD to Vita is clean anyway, but I'm just going to clean it off with a cloth and I'm also going to just clean um, the micro SD card. Now we can just put it back in. Now you can always dust out your um, PS Vita's game slot uh, with some compressed air or maybe uh, just blow on it, it's entirely up to you. Okay, so I just dusted my port out, now it looks alright. Now I'm just going to put the SD to Vita back inside. And now we can just hold the power button and power our PS Vita back on. Okay, so back on our PS Vita, we can now try and launch the HN Core update. So guys, after this, if our SD to Vita still isn't working properly, we actually need to remount it using the TF card plugin. So I have a backup of this on my memory card as well, or you might have one on your internal storage if you have a PS Vita 2000. But let's just start up this software. And then we can remount the SD to Vita as our main memory card. So as you can see, it says here, use SD to Vita as UXO and memory card as UMAO. That is exactly what we want. So we're going to press... Um, circle on that and then press circle for yes now it's going to say would you like to reboot press circle and your PS Vita is just going to reboot so back on the PS Vita again for the final time hopefully we can now check test if this thing is working so let's launch up the um, HN Core update and then we can exit it straight away and then we're going to look for a homebrew app that I know is on my SD to Vita. So I've got a few games that I know are on there as well. Um, one thing that definitely is, is one menu. And that's what failed straight away. So we're going to test this out. So let's start up one menu and hopefully this works. There you go, it seems to be loading. And this actually has an update, so I'm going to do that right now. So yeah, kind of strange. Um, this is the second time this has happened to me now. I definitely know it's the SD to Vita because every time I sort of remount it, uh, just, you know, clean it off a bit, maybe dust out my port, um, it seems to fix it. So this last happened, I'm going to say about two months ago. Um, so it's not something that's very common. But yeah, if you have any issues with your PS Vita where you try and open an app and your whole console just freezes, um, this is actually a way to fix it. So that is pretty much it for this video, so if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.